Praise be to Jesus. Good morning friends. Today the fifth Sunday of Lent. Theme of the readings is sin. In the first reading that is Genesis chapter 4 verses 8 to 16 we have the scene of the murder of Abel by Cain. The brothers they were together God was pleased with the offerings of Abel, not with the offerings of Cain, because he did not offer to the Lord with a clean heart and with a total dedication. Since God was pleased with Abel, Cain became jealous of Abel and he decided to do away with the, the younger brother. And he made a plot. One day he called his mother out and when we were when they were alone out in the field he took a stone and hit him and killed him. Then God came and asked Cain, where is your brother? His answer was, Am I the keeper of my brother? Yes, he had already killed him. God punished him. The earth, if he cultivates, would not produce anything for him. He would be a wanderer moving around the whole world and the people will hate him. He was punished. Then he repented. God forgave him and reduced his punishment. The second reading is from 1st Samuel chapter 24 verses 1 to 8. Here we can see that David is forgiving Saul. Saul wanted to kill David. With 3000 men, soldiers, Saul was following David. But Saul the king was given into the hands of David. David and his men were hiding in a cave. The king Saul came into the cave. David could kill him, but he did not. So he forgave. He wanted to show to the king that he was not a threat for his life. He was a faithful servant of the kingdom of the king. So we can see this picture here also. Forgiveness and sinfulness. The third reading is from 1st John chapter 1 verses 5 to 10. Here St. John tells us clearly, confess your sins, your sins will be forgiven. If you say that I have not sinned, you are a liar. If you accept that you have sinned and repent over your sins and confess your sins, then God will forgive you. And finally, Gospel of St. John chapter 8 verses 1 to 11 the Gospel reading we have the picture of a woman caught in adultery was brought to Jesus and they asked Jesus to make a judgment about her. They wanted her to be stoned to death according to the law of Moses. But Jesus did not make a decision like that. He waited for them, asking the first one who throws a stone at her be without sin. And they did not have any courage at all. They all knew that they were sinners. They all knew that Jesus knew their heart. One after another they left the place. At the end the lady was alone and Jesus asked her, did not anyone stone you? And she said, No one, sir. I also do not condemn you. Go, do not sin again. So sin and repentance, we have to accept, we have to be aware of our sinfulness, first of all. Then we should accept that we are sinful. When we are aware of our sinfulness and when we accept that we are sinful, then repentance will come. 
and when we repent we are ready to confess our sins and do atonement for our sins and we are ready to change our lives conversion takes place and that is the way in which we come back to the lord this season of lent is a season which helps us to become aware of our sins repent of our sins and come back to the lord lord we thank you for the word of god give us a grace to accept our sinfulness and repent of our sins and come back to you and be converted lord we thank you amen